the Grumman Egg Cat, the indestructible crop duster that refused to quit. Have you ever seen a plane that just looks like it was built to get dirty and keep going? That's the Grumman Egg Cat. This thing isn't some sleek, speedy fighter jet wannabe. It's a big, burly biplane that's about as graceful as a farm tractor and just as tough. Built for one thing and one thing only, spraying crops and taking a beating while doing it. Grumman rolled this beast out in 1957, and they weren't messing around. The Grumman Aircraft Engineering Corporation, based in Bethpage, New York, originally developed the Egg Cat before production was later handled by the Schweitzer Aircraft Corporation in Elmira, New York. That's just about two and a half, three hours for me. They made sure it could take whatever a crop dusting pilot or, more likely, an unexpected run-in with a fence could throw at it. The cockpit? Basically a tank. You could flip this thing on its back dig a trench with the headrest, and the pilot could crawl out, dust off their flight suit, and get back to work. As Terrell Kirk, Egg Cat's sales manager, put it, pilot safety in this aircraft is just uncanny. I think the 40G cockpit and a good turnover structure has kept many a boys from getting hurt. Now, if you're thinking about taking one of these for a joyride, let me stop you right there. This isn't your weekend fun plane. It's a straight up piece of farm equipment with wings. The instrument panel, strip down to just what you need a spray pressure gauge, oil temp and pressure gauge, a compass, and an altimeter. Everything else optional. If you're spraying fields, you don't have time to be checking fancy readouts. You need to keep your eyes outside so you don't clip a power line or a barn. And speaking of barns, pilots have definitely tested the egg cat's durability. One report describes an egg cat cartwheeling across a field after a mishap, losing three wings, busting an engine nose case, twisting the fuselage, and yet the cockpit remained intact. The pilot, completely unharmed. Takeoff in an egg cat is downright amusing. You think about pulling back, and before you even know it, you're already in the air. Empty, it's airborne in less than 400 feet. Fully loaded, it takes a little more runway, but nothing crazy. The stall speed is so low, it practically refuses to fall out of the sky, and landing is just as forgiving, unless you're coming in way too fast, in which case you'll just float forever. One of the best tricks in the egg cat's playbook the emergency dump. Picture this, you're cruising over a field loaded with 900 pounds of water and there's a tree line creeping up way too fast. No problem. Yank the red dump handle and bam, instant weight loss. The plane practically jumps into the air like it just had a caffeine rush. According to one test, quoted, specifications say that it takes six seconds to dump a full load when the emergency cable is pulled. It seemed considerably less than that to me. But here's the real kicker. The egg cat just doesn't quit. The airframe is built to last, maintenance is relatively simple, and even the spreader system Grumman developed is practically foolproof. Unlike some other crop dusters that leak or clog up, this thing can switch from dusting to spraying in 10 minutes. No hassle, no stress. Just good old reliable engineering. As one operator noted, it took just $160 to get his airplane ready for its second season, $300 for the third. Now remember, this info was written in 1963, but still affordable for the time compared to today's average maintenance cost. At the end of the day, the Egg Cat just isn't another airplane. It's a workhorse, a survivor, and a legend in the world of agricultural aviation. And for the pilots who fly them, it's more than just a job, it's a way of life. Just don't expect any luxury unless you count a closed cockpit as high-end living. Because when you're flying low, dodging obstacles, and keeping farms running, comfort is the last thing on your mind. So yeah, the Grumman Egg Cat, it's ugly, tough, and one of the most dependable airplanes ever built. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Now remember, I'm getting my information from an article that was written in 1963. All right, let's do some questions. Here are three trivia questions. What is the Grumman Egg Cat's primary purpose and how does that influence its design? If you said it's designed as a rugged agricultural workhorse, built for durability and safety rather than speed or luxury, you nailed it. What are the advantages of the Egg Cat's all-metal construction and the unique fastener system? If you mention that it provides exceptional durability, minimizes maintenance, and allows for quick and easy panel removal for cleaning and inspections, then you got it right. Describe the significance of the Egg Cat's cockpit design, especially the placement of key instruments. If you pointed out that the cockpit keeps things simple with essential instruments and places the airspeed indicator, tachometer, and stall warning light right in the pilot's line of sight for easy reference during low-level flying, then give yourself a gold star. Check out these photos that I found of an egg cat, CK-CAT, 
on the ground and with the engine running. This airplane was built in 1975 and spent years working in Mississippi before heading to Arizona in 1992. In 1996, Brian Stewart imported the aircraft to New Zealand where it was fully restored and modified to carry passengers. After certification by the AGCAT Corporation, it was officially registered in July 1996. Today, this bright red biplane offers tourists scenic flights through volcanic wonder flights in Rotorua. Well, that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more aviation history and builds. I'm Bill Riccio, and I'll see you in the next one.